Hi, my name is Vicki Bruce. I wrote this book called Goalie, and Juliet Rollman did all the illustrations for me. She's super cool, but it's not super cool out here. It's like 40 degrees out, and I thought it would be funny to read Goalie in 40 degree heat because usually it's cold when we play hockey, and when it's cold, we wish it was warm. So it is warm for this story for you because you guys rock. There's the title page, always right inside the book. Oh, you want me to read it? Did I tell you I was going to read it? Oh yeah, I did. Let's go. It was the final championship game of the year. The Sunderland Wings had traveled a great distance to play the Honeywell Warthogs. The winner would take home the trophy. That's exciting. All the games in the series had been very close. The Sunderland players were ready. They played hard all year to make it this far. The team was pumped, the coaches were pacing, and the parents and fans were cheering. Yeah! The whistle blew and the puck dropped. Everyone stood up and clapped. The Honeywell Warthogs won the puck at the faceoff. Their best player skated right past the Sunderland Wings defenseman and took a hard shot on Jay, Sunderland's goalie. The fans in the stands held their breath. <sighs> a group of teenagers stood along the arena glass. They started loudly chanting, Goalie! 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 Can you do it with me? Goalie! 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 Is it right? You decide as we read. They really wanted to distract the game and distract Jay, our goalie. Sunderland's goalie lifted his glove and caught the puck with ease. The Sunderland fans roared while the Honeywell fans sat down and shook their heads. The teenagers banged on the glass and yelled even louder, Goalie! 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 Want to do it with me? Goalie! 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 With three minutes left in the period, a pass came across center ice. Sunderland's number eight took it and top cornered it. The first goal of the game went to the Wings. The score was nothing to one. The puck dropped to begin the second period. A hotshot skater from Honeywell weaved through Sunderland's defense. His skates were on fire as he headed for the goal. As the Warthog player wound up to shoot, the teenagers started yelling. Goalie, 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 goalie. I'm not impressed. The Sunderland fans were more than upset. The coaches were shocked and the referees were spinning like figure skaters. How could they watch the game if they were practicing triple axles? Sunderland's goalie grimaced at the teenagers as the puck slid in behind him. Goalie. Goalie, goalie, was stuck in his brain. Poor Jay. The mums from the Sunderland team shouted over the teenagers. The louder the teens yelled, the louder the mums cheered. Honeywell Warthog fans laughed as the teenagers continued to bang the glass. The score was tied, 1-1. As the two teams faced off, the teens started drumming on the glass rhythmic, rhythmatically. Even that's a big word for Miss Vicky. <laughs> Sorry. The tallest teenage boys climbed up on the boards, reaching over and threw a pair of tidy whitey underpants onto the ice. Like, come on. Who does that? Who does that? Rhythmatically. Say it with me. The referees ignored the bullies. They adjusted their figure skating skirts and skated down to remove the undies. While the Sunderland coach strapped on his skates and headed onto the ice, the tension in the tied game was building and the teenage spectators seemed to take over the rink. The Sunderland head coach called a timeout and signaled his players to the bench. The teens headed for the lobby.
Can you guess who the mom is here? A Sunderland mom followed them into the lobby. She pointed to the tallest teen and said, Do you play hockey? He puffed up his chest and said, Yes, I do. I am a center. Do fans yell and scream at you when you're on the ice? Asked the mom. Yeah, they cheer me on all the time, lady. The teen grinned. When and where's your next game? I would love to be there to cheer on your game like you kids are, have been doing. She huffed and went back into the rink. Horrible mom voice, but kind of funny. The game continued with some nasty hits from the Honeywell and the same sound coming from the teenagers. Goalie, goalie, goalie. You gonna do it with me? Goalie, goalie, goalie. The Sunderland fans tried to drown out the sound with explosive cheering. The wings took an amazing shot on net. The Wings fans stood up and cheered as they watched the Warthog goalie save the shot. Back on the ice, Honeywell had another breakaway. The player was coming right at Jay, the Sunderland goaltender. The team stood on the boards and hung onto the glass. Goalie! Goalie! Go! Uh-oh! A shot fired by Honeywell sailed over the glass and before the tallest teen knew what was happening he ate a puck sandwich now remember it's a book okay didn't really need a puck sandwich it's a story someone cheered after another goal was scored there were proud they were proud of their team and they were very relieved to see the teens leave the arena the score was now 3-2 for the Warthogs and three minutes left in the third period. The puck was dropped and Sunderland moved down the ice. They passed and checked clearly and stayed in the Warthogs defense zone. They're working hard. They're really working hard. A pass went by the front of the net and deflected off the Honeywell Warthog goalpost. Back into play, the puck flew. One minute left to play and Sunderland pulled their goalie six boys against five and the puck was shot and hit the goal post and bounced off the Sunderland center's leg and landed in front of his stick. He wound up, made the shot and scored. 3-3. Three, three. Yay! Thirty seconds were left on the clock when the puck was dropped by one of the referees. Sunderland pushed forward and stayed in the offensive zone. Jay was ready in his goal. The fancy Honeywell skater got the puck and skated hard towards Sunderland's end. He shot from the blue line, but Jay caught the puck and hung on. The puck was dropped in Sunderland's defense zone and Honeywell's goalie skated off the ice. Six Warthogs were now on the ice. 15 seconds were left in the nail biter of a game and after another puck drop, Sunderland's center passed it to the defenseman and he passed it up to the left wing and the left wing took a shot from the center ice on Honeywell's empty net. <laughs> empty net. From the crowd you could hear, goalie, goalie, goalie. Sunderland won the game and the championship. The Warthog fans picked up their blankets and their hearts and they shuffled off the benches. Sunderland fans started chanting, Goalie! 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 Do it with me now! Goalie! 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 As all the Sunderland players crowded around the, their game saver, Jay. The whole team won the game, but the goalie survived the bullying. Now the message I have in the back is really important. Jay and his teammates kept control of their emotions in spite of the torment, ridicule, and terrible refereeing. Could you? Something you gotta think about. How hard would that be? So I wrote this book not only about playing a team sport, it is about bullying and how Jay, the goalie, and the rest of the team members were able to stay focused during this game. The bullies didn't succeed because Jay did not retaliate as his concentration was continuously interrupted. 
If you can be anyone while playing your favorite sport or living your life, be a J. And Miss Vicky knows about this. And Miss Vicky is a J. And that's a story for another day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I hope you're having just as great a day as I am. Bye now.